What's going on YouTube? And in today's video, we're gonna go through the typical day in the life of a cybersecurity analyst. So this is just a disclaimer. The cybersecurity analyst position is a very dynamic position. And what I mean by that is any of these topics that I'm gonna go over, sometimes they could take a whole day in themselves. Um, I don't necessarily get to each one of these things sometimes. Sometimes I get through all of these things and more. Um, that's the beauty of the job. If you're the kind of person that likes change, this is gonna be a great job for you. Let's get into it. So my day starts off initially like a lot of other positions and roles do, and that's gonna be checking my emails, you know, the best part of the day, right? Um, that is gonna entail a lot of time going through um, communicating back to vendors that I'm in a conversation with, with, um, either about new products or about existing products that we are servicing um, this can also consist of just communication with the rest of my team um, discussing some updates or what we are working on um, and just a variety of different things um, related to security and sometimes just IT in itself um, and as always you got to watch out for those spam phishing emails when you're going through these emails so the next part of my day is usually the part of the day that really gets me uplifted and and um, it really shows me the point of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it is my morning meeting. Um, this is something that you will see often within corporations. Um, what your a morning meeting is, is really just time for the IT team um, or maybe you have a separate security team and you go through um, any new updates for the day, uh, things that everybody's working on, um, areas that need improvement, um, maybe projects that team, team members need assistance with that maybe you can provide assistance with. And it's just a good time for collaboration. Um, remember, these people you have to work with every day. You want to have a good rapport with them. Um, you almost want to build some kind of friend friendship with them and um, work related um, partnership where you can um, safely and openly talk about struggles, failures, and uh, also the wins for the day or for the week. Um, like I said, it's a good part to my day. And it's a good thing to remember if you're an introvert that it's okay to do this kind of stuff. You're gonna have to. Um, we can't stay behind the computer all the time. Uh, eventually, you're gonna have to, you know, get out there with other team members and talk, build relationships, and it'll be a good thing for you, even if you are the introvert type of person. Typically, where I will find myself after the morning meeting is typically working uh, alongside of vendors, um, whether that's support calls, where there are, you know, open tickets that I am working on a vendor with to resolve a problem. Um, this is where I spend typically a large uh, time during my days, uh, especially on more technically advanced issues. And it is sometimes um, a uh, educational time as well, uh, where knowledge can be shared from yourself and the vendors. Uh, this is also another point in why it's good to be um, outgoing and hold good conversation even if you are an introvert type of person. Uh, vendor calls are um, great for uh, both the vendor and yourself, um, but this is where I primarily find myself after these morning meetings. Uh, like I said, it all varies depending on the day, but nine times out of 10, uh, I usually set up these calls for the morning to get them out of the way so I can work and move forward towards any progress that we made on that call. Now, typically I'll do this in the beginning of the morning, maybe when I check emails um, or end after the um, you know morning has cleared up a little bit, I will do this again. And what am I talking about? Checking the EDR solution. Now, you may ask yourself, what is an EDR solution? The EDR solution is the endpoint detection and response. Um, this is where devices have some type of uh, dete detection software on them to monitor any activity and traffic that is coming through and going out of the network 
uh, so you can monitor for any malicious activity that could be happening on these devices. It's good to check this periodically throughout the day to ensure that the company's network is safe and secure. Um, this is why when you're taking a lot of these security certifications out there, you'll notice that the attacks and techniques of cyber criminals is really pounded in. And it's because of this. If you're reading a lot of these logs coming from the EDR solutions and you don't understand the techniques of the attacker, you're going to have a really, really hard time trying to get yourself, uh, you know, adjusted to um, spotting some of this malicious behavior on uh, endpoint devices. So this is a major part of my day. Uh, like I said, it happens multiple times a day and it's something that you're going to see everywhere. Um, a lot of devices and tools that I've worked with are Mac, Linux, um, Windows, and the tools that I've seen um, are primarily Microsoft Defender or Cisco AMP for this solution in particular. Now, this next part is um, something that you may or may not have to do in your first cybersecurity analyst position. Uh, sometimes an analyst role can move up and as you gain more knowledge, you'll be exposed to firewalls and some networking and routing and switching on the uh, network infrastructure. And that is getting me to my next point. Um, most of my day, uh, outside of the things I already spoke about, uh, consists of uh, firewall configurations, um, allowing, denying rules, configuring all types of configurations within the firewall. Um, now, this is just a side note. I am going to do a full series because I think that's how in depth a firewall is in today's day and age. I'm going to do a full series that's going to go through step by step um, the different configurations and functionalities of firewall. Uh, and I think it'll be very beneficial for the newcomer, um, somebody getting into cybersecurity. That being said, continue on here and explain what I mean by firewall um, configurations. Well, the firewalls are connected to the network, so you're going to spend a large amount of your time um, configuring them appropriately along with the devices that they're connected to. And sometimes that means that you'll be configuring um, some switches and routers and things of that nature. It's a part of the job. Like I said, if you're maybe getting to that very entry level role, maybe you won't see um, much firewall um, configurations and management in your role. And that's okay because it does take some time uh, to learn and to get um, educationally um, adequate in that uh, role to do firewall management. So that being said, this is just a broad overview. I hope that it's really helped you guys understand what a cybersecurity analyst does in the day to day. If you have any more questions, please comment down below and feel free to ask. If it's something that I feel like could lead to another video, I'll make a whole video on it for you to give you a more in-depth description of maybe something that I had mentioned that I do um, in detail so you can understand and be prepared for it when you get into the field. Thanks for watching guys. Um, and I appreciate all of you always. Um, if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. If you like this content, thank you very much guys. And I'll see you in the next video.